the important scans in pregnancy. So the 20 week scan, all right, this is what we call the anomaly or the, uh, the structural scan. So by 20 weeks, babies, most of babies' organs would have developed. So it's a good time to look at detail at babies' bony structures. So we can look at the skull, the face, the lips, the mouth, all right, to look for things like a cleft or a cleft lip or a cleft palate. Very importantly at this time as well, the heart development, all right, is growing. And some cases, nature gets it a little bit wrong, all right? So the connections in the heart can sometimes go a little bit uh, haywire, switching left to right, right to left. And this is the ideal time to check, all right? This window period at 20 weeks is a good time to go do that. Uh, you also have uh, information about the brain, the spinal cord, kidneys, and, and the abdomen. So this is the 20-week scan, all right? We also look at the placenta, in other words, where the placenta is situated on the uterus. Uh, and you must understand that this is not a 100% test. I mean, there are only certain things that we can look at. There are minor and other very detailed, subtle changes which are impossible to detect on the scan. So while it is very good, it will not pick up everything, all right? It picks up most structural problems, but it does not pick up everything, all right? What about the 28-week growth scan. Now, when your doctor checks you every time, they will do a measurement, they will check baby's growth, they will look at your blood pressure. And in some situations, if the doctor suspects that there may be an issue with baby perhaps not growing as well as we would like, then we would ask for a growth scan together with Dopplers. Now, what is Doppler? Doppler is basically a type of ultrasound where we actually look at the blood flow. All right? We look at how efficient the blood flow is in the blood vessels going to the uterus. And that gives us an idea about whether or not the uterus and the placenta is supplying enough blood flow to grow to the growing baby, especially for baby's brain and tummy, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So these information about growth and Dopplers could be uh, ordered if baby was not growing, maybe as well as expected, or maybe, you know, maybe a little bit small for, the, for your dates. If you have... Um, a gestational diabetes or diabetes in pregnancy or a blood pressure problem in pregnancy, then certainly we would always, almost always ask for a Doppler and a growth scan. Or if there's a previous history of in your previous pregnancy, you had a very early delivery or there's a kidney issue, then it's certainly something that we uh, want to check. Now, excessive weight, all right, may also cause the placenta not to work properly. So in other words, if your BMI is very high and you're pregnant, just the fact that your BMI is high actually means that your placenta is likely to be less efficient. So sometimes if you are a little bit overweight, the doctor may also ask for the Doppler and growth to be done because that's when we suspect the placenta may not be working.